today was when I looked at the weather forecast and it said it was going to be uh, a cloud with a bit of sun so I took the gamble and thought let's go and do some more street and I got the bus as you saw because I thought uh, safe parking it's nearly Christmas so it's quite crazy and it's just really grey so Let's make a decision on what we're going to do. We're definitely going to stay, but do I, do I shoot in black and white or do we go for colour and get some of these Christmas lights while they're still on? Because it's still pretty gloomy, so. We are shooting in a 16 by 9 format, which is, which is a good, good thing for um, just doing something different, really, a little bit. You know, I don't know, I mentioned it in the last video. Um, it's pretty good horizontal but when you tip it the other way <coughs> for like a vertical shot it's a little bit too much so we try and stick with the horizontal and if they don't work I'm quite happy to crop it so yeah we'll have a little go with that I think I'm gonna go and get a coffee and wait for a few more people might get some other pictures um, of just general stuff really it's not necessarily that I have any people in today I'm just gonna whatever sort of catches me eye really so yeah and I think we might we might swap over to colour for a little bit Here's a nice little spot here. The trouble is, there's not really any light. And I'm having a go at shooting in colour, but I might go to black and white, because as you know, I shoot in JPEG. And if I shoot in black and white, that's it. It's black and white for good. There's no going back. So in a way you could kind of say it's like shooting film really because I can't change it I can adjust the, the contrast and a little other few things but I can't change it to a color but if I shoot in color I can change it to black and white someone coming up the stairs would be good but we'll wait here for a little while but it's still not very busy not yet So I'm trying to get some pictures here with some people walking by and getting this kind of graffiti in the shop and maybe some people down the bottom there as you can see going past and if anyone comes up the stairs. found this one a bit cliche there's an arrow it's point to somebody but you know you've got to do it haven't you so we'll just have a little wait here for a little bit sometimes your patience pays off just waiting here by this arrow and a guy walks past with a red backpack on you know sometimes if you wait you do get the shot
hopefully you liked the video and if you did please uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe and click on the bell and you'll get all notifications next time I uh, upload a video thanks for that so as you saw it was a little bit of a shame that I didn't have the light like I had last week um, so you kind of just work with what you have really and so I just saw a load of graffiti about the city and I thought well I'll try and implement some of the graffiti with uh, people passing by um, uh, I got someone I think I was lucky a couple of times really with uh, the color red to be honest with you um, uh, where the stairs were uh, either side of those uh, two walls I was there I was there probably around 10 minutes and uh, I took a few shots different people and then a girl came past uh, with like a red furry jacket so that made a really sort of good shot you could really see her at the bottom there and the other one uh, the red arrow I was just really looking for a picture uh, of someone walking past or someone walking towards me um, I suppose the best shot would have been if someone wearing red had come towards me and then they'd have filled the frame a bit more with uh, you know a nice red uh, jacket on or something like that but you know you don't always get what you want in street you know sometimes you will sometimes you won't sometimes you go away with nothing and uh, so I was quite happy when someone they were going the other way but they had a red backpack on I mean as you saw I do say so in the video so I was quite happy about that um, and then I kind of stood at the top of the stairs which is just around the corner from there and got a few pictures of a couple of guys uh, coming up the stairs nothing really fantastic to be honest with you um, but that's how it goes sometimes you know the forecast said there was going to be a little bit of light uh, some low sort of sun and cloud but you know if you live here in the UK what the forecast says and what you get are two different things and most of the time this time of year it's normally just raining uh, grey uh, pretty miserable really so when the light does pop out if it's a dark grey all day and you get a little bit of light yeah, you can get some really nice nice colours and nice contrast uh, but we won't get in that uh, this week so hopefully we'll get some next week I'm going to be out and about I haven't really decided whether to just go to my usual haunt or uh, to venture off somewhere else I've got an idea I might go somewhere else along the coast try something a little bit different so yeah, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. We'll have to see. So just as I was finishing up, um, the sun popped out. Maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I'm not too sure, but it wasn't out for very long. It'd been grey all morning. And uh, I was where the taxi rank is. Now, I often go down there because there's quite a few sort of places to sit and you get people wandering about. And, uh, yeah, the sun popped out. And there was a guy and he was uh, sitting by a tree and he was uh, vaping. So... The, the amount of, well, I don't know, is it smoke, is it steam? But the amount of just filled the air and I thought, oh yeah, and the sun sort of caught it and I managed to get a picture there. Nothing, you know, award winning or anything like that, but it was the only time I got a picture that day uh, while the sun had popped out. So, you know, as it's street, you, you sort of take what you get and sometimes you might get a winner, sometimes you don't get anything. But, you know, that's the... That's the thing that keeps us going back for more. You know, we, we're always chasing that shot. We, we want to get something quite good. So, you know, unless you're out all the time, I'll say all the time, as much as you can be, uh, you know, you, you've got more chance of, of getting something nice. So, yeah, so, that, you know, that was all right. I just like getting out with my camera anyway. If I'd have come away with nothing, it wouldn't have mattered. So until next time, stay sharp out there, people, and I'll see you on the streets. Thank you.